Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into now day four of the Safer Pilot Challenge. I want to thank you guys first off so much for all your great comments you've left. Uh, if you haven't shared this on Twitter, on Facebook with your friends and followers, you can do so down beneath this video. Uh, again, your comments are really great motivation that kind of keep me going with everything and I'm just so thankful for it. Um, in day four, we're going to tie all this together here. We've talked about an engine failure on takeoff with and without runway remaining. Um, we've talked about an engine failure in flight. The last piece to this puzzle I want to talk to you about is what about a soft field landing? Now I know that's not exactly an emergency scenario, but there's a pretty good chance if you had a problem, you're going to be landing off airport, possibly in some farmer's field for all we know. So it's important that we practice soft field landings. Um, I had a, um, I don't want to say a poor experience, but I, when I was doing my flight training, our flight school, we weren't allowed to land at soft fields. This is back when I was doing, you know, collegiate aviation. Uh, we weren't allowed to land for insurance purposes on actual soft fields. So I didn't get my first soft field experience until I was out there in the real world doing real world flying. Um, it's super important you ask your instructor if you can get out there and practice soft field landings. Really go out to that, uh, that airstrip that has that grass field for you and practice that. So um, I'm done rambling. Let's go ahead and cut to the video or I can give you some great tips on how to successfully make a soft field landing and most importantly protect that airplane. All right, and, and real quick, I want to apologize too for the poor audio in that first uh, intro clip there. I didn't realize how loud the, uh, the Shepherd farm can be first thing in the morning. It's a good thing we don't have any neighbors. Um, anyway, so why soft field landings? Why even practice this? And by the way, you've probably seen some of these clips if you haven't, they're really uh, fun to watch. Uh, this one in particular, this is us landing a 182. Um, into North Captiva Island. You can see this is the island and literally this is the airstrip right here. Uh, this is coming into the Leeward Air Ranch uh, locally here. Um, Sofia landings are an absolute blast to practice and it's important you do that and again tying this all into the emergency approach um, you know theme of chances are you could actually be landing on a soft field out in, in some random field quite possibly it's important to practice this however some things to think about uh, when landing on a soft field let's say you're landing at a real uh, designated soft field avoid the use of carb heat um, if your aircraft is carbureted do not use the carb heat like you're normally used to all carburetor heat is is that unfiltered air that you are now injecting right into the carburetor. So you hit, it's dusty, there's dead grass, you know, you, you stir it all up in the air, and if that carb heat's open, it's all gonna flow just right into your carburetor, thus leading a bunch of dead grass and junk right into your fuel system. We don't need that sort of stuff. Um, avoid braking if you're able when landing at these soft fields you're going to realize as soon as you put those wheels down you're going to have no problem slowing down it's a lot different than rolling out on pavement i mean and you really feel it uh, when you hit just how quickly it slows you down the reason i say that though is you want to protect that nose wheel full back on that yoke and protect that nose wheel when you start applying those brakes you risk putting a little bit of that pressure forward and you could catch that nose uh, that nose wheel possibly in a pothole you want to be full back on that yoke and let that uh, airplane just roll itself on out if you're able to, if you've got the distance to do it. If not, you know, I understand you got to slow that airplane down. Also, call ahead to check the length of the grass. It sounds really silly, but you could call someone maybe who lives out there or someone who's in charge of mowing it. I can't tell you how many times I've landed at airports and just wished I called ahead because I ended up touching down in you know what was practically a jungle. And when you're up in the air, even when you're on short final, you just can't tell. Um, you know, before you put those wheels down, I've lost more paint off my propeller um, from landing, you know, in tall grass than I, than I care to admit. Um, the airplane right now, actually the prop is sanded down to just bare aluminum because we do so much, you know, soft field practice that we just can't keep paint on the thing. Um, so call and check the length of the grass ahead of time. The main thing is I want you to protect that nose wheel, protect that airplane. Um, you know, pressure back on that yoke. Um, same thing on takeoff, you know, get that airplane rolling, let it take off and push it down into ground effect first. 
Um, you want to protect that nose wheel at all times. This is something to practice this with someone. Um, Sawfield lanes, again, are an absolute blast, but they need to be practiced. Again, I fell into the trap of my flight school just told me, no, we can't let you land on a Sawfield, just not approved. Insurance says so. You know, I have an insurance flight school policy, and I find that to be baloney um, because we're allowed to do it. And we do it all the time. So, um, soft field lanes are a blast. You need to get out there and practice them. I find a lot of people just haven't done them. So you need to find a soft field first that allows you to do that. A lot of these places are private. You need to either know somebody. There needs to be a fly in there that day. Um, uh, there's so many great fly-ins in these little uh, general aviation communities too. You really need to, you know, get up the guts to uh, go out there and practice this sort of stuff so you can participate in those sort of events. So, if you have a chance in the near future, someone offers you a uh, a takeoff or landing at a soft field, 100% take it. Um, because you will not be sorry with that kind of experience under your belt. That's all I have for you guys this week. Sorry this video ran a little bit long. Sorry the audio was silly at the beginning. Um, look forward to talking to you guys uh, more tomorrow. Most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.